Good afternoon YouTube, Xfile2709 back again with another video. Um, today we're uh, looking at the first part of our Hot Wheels Treasure Hunt collection. So some nice um, positive comments etc from uh, the last Hot Wheels pickups video that uh, that we did and um, I think it was, was it YouTubersaurus I think? Um, said that he um, he enjoyed Hot Wheels stuff himself and uh, would like to see more of the collection. So this is what myself and Ghost Lou have collected treasure hunt wise um, probably over the last three years is it? Two or three years. So Ghost Lou's here by the way. Hello guys. So uh, yeah he'll uh, give us a bit of uh, input on uh, different things relating to the Hot Wheels as we're going along. And uh, Darth Vapor's in the background. Hi. Yeah, so she's busy diamond painting, so you probably won't hear much from her, apart from the odd um, clang of a bracelet on the table, or a cough, or a vape. So we shall leave it at that. But yes, um, this is the the first part, so it's probably going to be two parts, I'd have thought, um, showcasing the uh, Hot Wheels treasure hunts that we've got in our collection. So um, just briefly again for those of you that um, didn't catch the last video, the treasure hunts are um, like a bonus if you like that um, Mattel gives back to um, the Hot Wheels community. Um, so they're slightly rarer ones to find in the wild. Um, you can recognise them if, I don't know if you can see it under here, but very briefly, well, there you go. Just about see it under there. There's a um, a silver flame if it's a uh, treasure hunt, and a gold flame if it's a uh, super treasure hunt. Um, let's say the uh, regular treasure hunts are uh, harder to find than your regular um, mainline cars that they release, and the super treasure hunts are uh, worth considerably more and uh, very difficult to find. So. I think between myself and Ghost Lou and Darth Vapor, when we've been out on our travels, Hot Wheels hunting, we've managed to find just three super treasure hunts in um, in the two stroke three years that we've been collecting. So uh, very difficult to find, but uh, puts a big smile on our face when we do manage to uh, to track one down. So yeah, without further ado, guys, we'll uh, we'll go through the regular treasure hunts. So this one is Circle Trucker. You can see there the flame on the side indicating that it's a treasure hunt and this is uh, from the Trackstar series. So, so these are all collected over the last few years so uh, some older ones and uh, some newer treasure hunts uh, you'll be seeing. So next one is that one there. So that's the 2013 Chevy Camaro Special Edition. So lovely colour that one and uh, detailing down the side. I do uh, like my American muscle cars as, uh, as you guys will know. So I'll pass these down to go salute. There we go. Next one, a um, big fan of, uh, of trucks in general. Anytime I see a mainline truck release, um, I'll grab it and uh, release it from the card and stick it on my... Um, display shelves that uh, that I've got for my Hot Wheels trucks so I was pleased that they did a, a Chevy Silverado so this one's still carded because I haven't managed to track down a second one yet but uh, as and when I do then uh, one of them will be opened and it'll be uh, put on the shelf with uh, all the other trucks so there we go loving that one with the um, racing livery on the side for Hot Wheels Raceway and again you can see the flame on the side there, so that's the Chevy Silverado from HW Rescue. Next one, when uh, myself and Ghost Lou first started connect uh, connecting, collecting even, um, myself and Darth Vapor um, went into our local entertainer. Um, I'm a big Big fan of sharks, you'll have seen my uh, shitty shark movie collection video uploaded recently. So as this was a, a shark related Hot Wheels 
I had to pick it up, so Shark Cruiser. And it just turned out, I didn't know anything at the time about treasure hunts or super treasure hunts. And it uh, turned out this one was a regular treasure hunt. So a nice uh, lucky find on our uh, first uh, Hot Wheels hunt all those years ago. So there we go, that's the Street Beast series. Next one, bit of an odd one, this one. There we go. So we've got an old, uh, I don't know, what would you say that was? World War One, maybe? World War Two plane called Bazoomka for the uh, Hot Wheels Ride-On series. So, uh, yeah, you'll find what um, Mattel do. They'll release the, the regular main line, which will be potentially a different colour or it'll have different coloured wheels and things like that so you know you you will still see the regular bazooka in the wild but this one's a, a different colour with it being a treasure hunt and uh, different coloured wheels so that's that one bit of an oddity but it's a treasure hunt so doesn't matter how uh, weird and wonderful it is if we find a treasure hunt we uh, we always grab it Next one, I think you found this one for me, yeah, didn't you, sure. if I remember, on your uh, travels locally. So another odd one that's part of the um, Experimotors series, and that's uh, Bubblematic. So some quite uh, wacky colours there. But yeah, quite a funky one, and you'll see this one's on a, uh, a long card compared to the... Uh, other ones that I've shown you so far, which are on a short card. So traditionally, the short cards are what we get here in the UK. Uh, the long cards generally is what uh, the guys over in America get. But obviously, some of the stores like your, your Poundlands and places like that do get some cases from abroad. Um, and we do get the odd uh, long card every now and again. So that's that one. got this one from Asda. Oh, was it an Asda one? Yeah. So, yeah, that's Bubblematic. Next one, I managed to get a couple of these, so I have got one that was released from the card when uh, when I got it. This was uh, Draft Nator. That's that one. We found that we got that one recently, didn't we? Mm. I think. I don't know. Darth Vapor. Didn't we get Draft, Draft Nator recently? Which one? I'm sure that's our most recent oh, one. Oh, yeah, isn't that's it? out of um, the yeah, truck. Yeah, that was a B&M find, that was. So, Draft Nata from the Hot Wheels Speed Team. Okie dokie. Next, yeah, big fan of this one. So, I think we managed to get a couple of these. So, if, if we do, um, I mean, sometimes, you know, we'll see several of... Um, the same treasure hunt, it, it used to be a case, you know, I was on different Hot Wheels groups and we'd pick a few up for trading and things like that, but it never really works out that way. So, uh, you know, we just tend to pick one up now if we see it and if we see any more um, reoccurrences of the same one, we just leave them for other collectors to uh, to get, unless they're a super treasure hunt, in which case we're, uh, we're all over it because they're uh, pretty good investments for... Um, selling on if you get duplicates and investing back into the collection. So, big fan of this one. Uh, Ghost Lou likes this one as well. This is the uh, the Baja Bone Shaker, and it's got the uh, Halloween livery. So you see the wheels there. It's got like the um, Punisher type skulls, and um, yeah, it says Treasure Hunt on the side door with a pumpkin. So uh, yeah, big fan of the Bone Shaker on uh, Hot Wheels. So. Awesome, uh, funky-looking car. So that's part of the Holiday Races series. <coughs> Excuse me. Another long card. Was this one you found again? Yes. Yeah, I think it was. So between us, we're always um, having a little look for Hot Wheels when we're out and about. So this was one Ghost Lou managed to find. So it was Twin Mill. So, uh, again, on the long card. So this was probably another Poundland one or... Asda. Morrison's? Oh, was it Morrison's? All oh, right, cool. So that's part of the uh, Hot Wheels Game Over series. So I think that's probably one of Hot Wheels' most renowned. Was it most either most renowned cars that they did, or their very 
first car concept car that I'm they sure, did. Because I've got like the pixel shaker and everything. Yeah, I'm sure Twin Mill was one of the uh, very. Oh yeah, the Twin Mill was. Yeah, one of the very first um, Hot Wheels cars that was released. So obviously a futuristic type car, but um, wouldn't normally get your futuristic type ones. But with it being a treasure hunt, we had to get it for the collection. I think so it's that one. On Forza as well. Yeah, and um, the Hot Wheels Unleash game as well, which uh, I'll be getting at some point. So watch this space for a um, Hot Wheels Unleashed Xbox One video. Love this one. There we go. The old Beatles Yellow Submarine. So this is another movie related one. I mentioned last time that they'd done um, the DeLorean from Back to the Future um they'd done the flintstones and things like that so um this was quite a funky treasure hunt that they released so the beetles yellow submarine there we go again i think this might have been the second treasure hunt that we picked up since we uh, started collecting so that's the mercedes-benz unimog 1300 in the old uh, police SWAT team livery, which is quite nice. That's that one I remember. I think there was that one, and which one was it? The, what was the lawnmower one? Oh, Grass Chomper. Yeah, Grass Chomper that we saw dozens and dozens of when uh, when they first came out. But I guess, you know, a couple of years later now that um, they are harder to find, more than likely not going to get them in the wild, you'd be resorting to collectors groups or um ebay or whatever to uh, try and track the older treasure hunts down so um, there we go the mercedes benz unimog 1300 so and yep ghost lose managed to find that one out that we were just talking about there we go the old grass chomper like a little um sit on lawnmower with a big um, exhaust at the side Quite a funky looking one again, part of the uh, Hot Wheels Ride On series. And that's, uh, yeah, that's called Grass Chomper. So we saw dozens of these when uh, when they were originally released. But um, I think I might have brought one for trading later on down the line. And that one, and uh, left the rest out in the wild for other collectors. So there we go, that's Grass Chomper. There it is again. Oh uh, yeah, that's the duplicate, so we don't need to see that one. Fine. Next one, quite a funky one. This one, there we go. So, that's one that's part of the Toon series where they kind of exaggerate your everyday cars. If um, you tuned into the last Hot Wheels pickups video, you'll you see that we got the um, the blue with the white stripe Silverado in the Toon series. So, this was a treasure hunt they released. A couple of years ago, uh, the Dodge Charger Daytona. So, over-exaggerated um, American muscle car, quite funky. Big um, engine sticking out the bonnet, etc. And the big spoiler on the back as well. It's quite a nice one. Next up, I think this was another one that Ghost Lou found for us. Yeah, so I think that one was in Poundland, I think it was. Found two or three. Yeah. So there we go, the long card version, 2018 release, uh, treasure hunt of the R uh, uh, Roadster, part of the Holiday Races series. Quite like that one. If you look at the uh, detailing on the side, it says um, 2018 series and uh, Hot Wheels. So again, quite a funky looking car. Next up, another truck that I uh, managed to pick up and uh, grab a couple of, so I could have one on the display shelf. So, part of the Art Car series with the uh, funky colours on, so that's a custom 56 Ford truck. So, there we go, that's that one there. Oh, I've done that one already. So that's, that's a duplicate. Yeah. Quite an odd looking one this one, but again with it being a treasure hunt, 
we had to pick it up. So that's Sting Rod as part of the uh, Dino Riders series. So you can see there's guns at the top, etc. So all kinds of um, oddness on that one. Maybe something you'd have seen in a futuristic Jurassic Park movie, maybe. So there we go, that's that one. Speaking of Jurassic Park. Oh, here we go. Yep, another dinosaur-y type one, if that's a word even. So, we have the Tricera Truck treasure hunt that was released as part of the Street Beast series. So, obviously playing on a uh, Triceratops design. And again, you can see on the side of the door there, the Hot Wheels Flame logo, indicating that it's a, uh, a treasure hunt variant. So, that's that one there. On this next one, it doesn't actually have a physical uh, treasure hunt logo on the actual car. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. But it does have the flame underneath, indicating that it's a treasure hunt. Love this one. All kinds of uh, weirdness. So that's the street wiener. So uh, a racing hot dog. With your hot dog mustard and ketchup as part of the fast food series. So I love some of these quirky ones that uh, Hot Wheels release. We've had we've had donuts over the years. We've had portable toilets, had, like, little ducks, hot dogs. Yeah, we've had um, um, aluminous ducks and yeah. all that sort of thing. So all kinds of uh, weird and wonderful ones that uh, you know make uh, make you wonder whose imagination it actually comes from. But great uh, great fun for us collectors. So there we go. That's. Uh, there you go, it says on the side there, look, Speed Dog. So, pretty cool. Next one. There we go, so we have the uh, Treasure Hunt Fast Bed Hauler as part of the uh, HW Metro series. And I think these hauler ones, they um, if you look at the flatbed on the back, you can actually put a regular Hot Wheels car which is quite cool if uh, you want to display them that way. So, quite a nice one, that one with the yellow and chrome. And again, there you go, the old flame on the side you can see. Next up, I think this one glows in the dark, doesn't it, if I remember rightly. I think it does. Ooh. There we go, so that's the 69 Chevelle. So, part of the X Racers uh, series. So, I'm pretty sure it's a glow in the dark when it's got like a translucent uh, reddish, I don't know, reddy orange colour, isn't it? So, yeah, quite a funky one, almost like a tuned car design with it uh, being sort of uh, squashed and slightly over exaggerated. That's that one. Next up again, saw dozens of these when they got released. Uh, we have, there we go, Head Starter as part of the uh, Experimotor series. Quite a funky one, this one with the big um, engine on the back and the little um, racing driver with his uh, helmet popping out, so to speak. So, <laughs> there we go, that's that one. Darth Vapor, get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> you put it there. I know. Children present. Next one, again, saw a few of these over time. Or at the time, even. So, awesome American muscle car, the 67 Camaro. So, again, the treasure hunt release that um, came out as part of the Art Cars series. Again, love the design on that one. So that's that one there. So we'll do a couple more. And how many is in the bag, Ghostly? Uh, there is three, six more. All right, well, we might as well do it all in one video then. So I thought we'd still got a load to do, but it shouldn't be too bad. So there we go. We have the Diora 2, which I seem to remember at the, what are those shows they do in America? Nothing. Where they have the um, the Hot Wheels cars brought oh, to life, if you like, and you know fans go 
to visit and you know they can sit in them and be driven around so this one's actually been made in america as um as the real car and i've seen people on youtube and that visiting on um exhibitions and things and being driven around so awesome con uh, futuristic concept type type remember that type of car if you like so i know part of the uh dream garage series but yeah if, you, if you've not seen the video guys have a search on youtube for the uh diora 2 uh, d-e-o-r-a and uh, see the real life version that uh, hot wheels brought to life as part of this it sounds and looks absolutely superb so love uh, to get across to america one day to one of these events and uh drive around or be driven around i should say in uh, some of these hot wheels uh, cars that um, they do bring to life for the fans so there we go that's that one there's less than we thought there's some more jukes all right cool so half a dozen left to go so they did a set of these as part of the um tokyo 2020 series that didn't happen because of uh, <laughs> covid um so uh, that was the treasure hunt version that they did for june daddy so that's that one there they say it's the olympic games tokyo 2020 i think i managed to get the full set of these as well there was 10 in total so uh it took us a a few weeks to track them down across different stores but uh yeah we did manage to get the full set and talking of full sets that will be another video later on down the line showing you the uh the sets of uh, hot wheels that we've got so this one we wanted to do a dedicated video just showcasing the treasure hunts so there we go nice pink car on that one so that would be one uh darth would gravitate to i did try and see that yeah any uh pink hot wheels she gravitates to what was that one i picked you up the other day it was a barbie car no no, it was a unicorn one, wasn't it? No, it was a Barbie Oh, a Barbie one. one. But yeah, anything like Barbie, they did a Barbie camper van and all that sort of thing. Anything that's pink, then uh, yeah, she does try to uh, pinch them out the collection. So. Watch out, there's two there. Is there? Yeah, there's two of the June Daddies. All oh, right, okay, well, they'll continue to be two June Daddies as well. <laughs> as long as I get my say. There we go, that's that one. All right, next up not a big fan of this one but again it was a treasure hunt so we grabbed it so there we go the chrysler pacifica is part of the uh, hot wheels metro series so ugh, can't really say much about that i'm not a big fan of it with the old uh, glass roof and all the seats inside it's kind of a i don't know a off-road suv type thing by the look of it but there we go it's a treasure hunt so it's part of the collection Prices, the American cars. Yeah. So it's Quite a funky looking experimenters one now. So we have crate racer. So there's a crate on the back with the old uh, engine sticking out. Quite a nice uh, graphic on the side. Nice uh, purpley colour. So quite a funky looking car. There we go. That's crate racer. Another one that I uh, do like this one, funky colours and quite a um, uh, different design. So it's a Motosaurus as part of the Dino Riders series. So obviously based on a, uh, what is it, a Stegosaurus? Yeah. Stegosaurus, isn't it, that one? So, But again, love the bright orange and uh, the green and the shiny uh, reflective green wheels that they did for this treasure hunt. So that's that one. Right, and then two more guys, and then we've got a little bonus to show you at the end. So, there we go. We have School Shaker. So, this was the treasure hunt that they uh, released for the Experimotors series. So, like in the old uh, lilac paintwork on the side there with the, the flames going down the side. And, uh, again, the... Uh, racing car driver sticking his uh, bonts out the top so do like that design quite a nice one okay and the last one all kinds of odd this one but 
guy and it's not going to stand up so we'll have to lean it like that so this is Zombot which was part of the Hot Wheels Robot series all kinds of odd but again it was the treasure hunt release so we had to grab it when we found it and I don't know if you can see on this one it's actually there we go actually a, a robot with his gun so yeah it is isn't it very similar to a transformer so that was that one right and then three to finish with guys as I said at the start of the video uh, the super treasure hunts are the hardest ones for uh, people to find um, so between us we've managed to uh, track down three of them in the few years that we've been collecting and um, oddly they're all the same make and model of car just with different liveries so uh, we'll show you the first one, this is the first one you got. yeah this was the first one Which we I found spotted. Well, okay. There's debates over who spotted it, but... Um, Which one is it? The uh, ones Yeah, went. the one that I actually went all the way to Middlesbrough for. So, yeah, it was me that found it. All oh, right, okay. There you go. Yeah, apparently all three of us discovered it. So, there we go. The Mazda RX-7 in gold. So, as you can see, with these... Um, well, I can't say as you can see, because you can't probably tell from behind the camera but these are like um metallic. yeah they're like a metallic paint and they've got different um wheels on um they so they're almost like premium grade cars if you like um so um yeah the the wheels aren't plastic i think they're rubberized wheels um and the paintwork's uh, much more metallic than uh, the normal mainline cars so that's the Mazda RX-7 Super Treasure Hunt as part of the Speed Blur series. And then this was the second one we found, which wasn't very different to the, um, the regular main line that they released. So uh, you do have to rummage through the, um, the tubs and the racks and whatever and look underneath to see if you you get the gold symbol or not to indicate that it's a super treasure hunt but that's the Mazda again so this is a Mazda RX-3 that was part of the Hot Wheels Drift series so again this was a super treasure hunt so that's that one and then the last one which was on a long card which I think we found in pretty sure that was in Poundland no it was the one one below shop Oh, one below, yeah. So, you know, the equivalent to Poundland, if you like. So, there we go. So, that's the factory fresh release of the 95 Mazda RX-7. And again, that's a super treasure hunt. So, that's uh, a really nice one to find. So, I think, you know, we paid the grand total of a pound for that one. And probably about like £1.50 for, um, for the other two. Um, and they're probably worth at the minute maybe 30 to 40 pounds each something like that and you know if you strike it lucky when they first come out and people are prepared to pay a premium for them you can sometimes get 70 80 90 pounds for them so they um, you know they're a nice little investment in the collection so there we go guys that's uh uh regular treasure hunt collection so uh, managed to fit it all into one video just under half an hour so if you've made it through this long then well done guys um and uh, yeah thanks very much for watching uh do appreciate it if you'd um like comment and subscribe and as always share amongst your socials so we can get some uh, new subscribers to the channel and uh, more interaction uh with you guys as well which is always good so Thanks very much for watching, guys, and uh, we'll be back with another video. All being well tomorrow, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye from myself, and goodbye from Ghost Lou. Bye. Goodbye from Darth. Bye. And uh, yeah, bye for now, guys.